Welcome to this video. This video is only for Windows users, that is users of computers with the Windows operating system. Only Windows users need to watch this video. I misspoke in my video um, lesson 8.3. In my video lesson of 8.3, I pointed Windows users to a certain link on the TreeTagger website that is not the correct link. So let me show you how to install TreeTagger software with uh, Windows computers. So first thing you need to do is go to the window or to the tree tagger um, web page. If you just Google tree tagger one word, it should be the first hit. I have a link to uh, this website from my lesson plan as well. Okay, so here it says download. This is how you do it. Um, and I just kind of barreled right into this, this stuff here in my video um, of lesson 8.3. And I said, Windows users should click on this, but you should not. That's not the right link. That says Linux right there very clearly. Right here, it says the following steps are necessary to install the tree tagger. See below for the Windows version. I, I missed that in my video lesson. So if you click on it, it'll just jump you down farther on the same page to this Windows version down here. This is what we need for Windows. Okay, it says Windows versions of the tree tagger uh, are available for 64-bit and 32-bit Windows versions. If you're not sure which one you have, um, you probably have 64 if it, your computer's you know, newer. If your computer's like really old, then you may have 32. Um, so I'd start, try with 64-bit. If, if you have problems, maybe try this 32. But it's, a, it's an evolved process. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So you download that zip file, you unzip it, and then follow the instructions in the install.txt file. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And then you have to download the parameter file separately as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click on the Windows 64-bit version, put it in my downloads, will be fine there. And then um, there's a couple ways you can do this. So I'm gonna just click once, regular click, um, that is left click, regular click on what downloaded. And on Windows, you have to extract all. Extract all is their term for unzip. So if I say extract all, if I click on the, the click on this um, folder that opened up and say extract all, and then say select the destination extract files, my downloads. You know what? Um, that would be fine for now, but I, I want to show you how I'm going to move it in a second. But we'll just download it. We'll just let it extract to the downloads folder into a tree tag Windows three two three extract. Okay, good. So now my downloads, I have a directory called tree tagger windows 323 right there. There is the zip file that I just used to create this directory. Um, okay. And if I get in here, you can see that there's a, a directory within that directory. Once again, let me just show you what I did. I'm in downloads and there's a tree dash tagger dash windows dash 3.2.3. That's a directory. If I click into it, regular click into it, then there's another directory called tree tagger. Okay. And I actually want to move that directory with the capital T for tree and a capital T for tagger. I actually want to move it to my base um, C drive right here, just right to the C drive. So I'm just going to um, click it, hold down the button, drag it over to my C drive and um, put it right on my C drive. And it says move to windows uh, C colon that you're looking for the C colon. That's the C drive. Okay, so now on my C drive, I have that tree tagger directory on the left hand um, side of my Windows Explorer, right? I'm looking at this, the Windows C drive. You can see that it's C because it has C colon. And then I now have tree tagger in there. If I look in tree tagger, I have several things going on in here. Okay, I have three uh, directories and two files. I'm just going to double click on the install.txt to open it up so we can look at the instructions on how to now install um, the rest of it. Okay, so installation down here in this, it has the instructions. So it says install a Python or a Perl, that is install a Perl interpreter if you have not already installed one. And they give a, they give um, a link to one installation or, or one type of Perl that you can install. Perl is another programming language like Python. Okay, so we need to install that. So if you just grab that URL, activestate.com, active Perl. So I just copy that. And now I'm going to go over to another web page and paste it and go get it. OK, 
Okay, and there are two versions here. The one on the left is fine, the download for free, the blue button, download for free, that's totally fine right there. We'll just get that. And okay, and then there's another screen you click on. We'll just click on the newer one, the 5.28, Active Pearl 5.28, terrific. Thank you for downloading Active Pearl, no problem, anytime. And then, so you can see it's gonna save this Active Pearl 528.msi. So I'm gonna say, save it to my downloads, that'll be fine. It's a small file, good. Now, if I click on it, regular click on it, it's gonna open up a installation um, dialogue wizard thing, you know. Here we go, gonna install this. I bet I accept the terms and conditions, yep. And it's gonna put it right there at the C drive, Perl 64, sure. And then install. And I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna let, so this is a system level thing saying, are you sure you wanna do this? And I say, yeah, I really wanna do this. Okay, so it's installing Perl, which uh, like I said, is another programming language that apparently Windows needs to do the work uh, with Tree Tiger. Okay, so it's taking a little bit of time. While it's working on that, um, yeah, while it's working on that, let's let's do something else. Let's go back over to the Tree Tagger webpage. So I'm back at the, the main Tree Tagger webpage here. Um, and then download, get, so the parameter files, we, we're gonna continue to download and get things set up once it's done getting a Perl. But what we can do in the meantime is download some of these parameter files. Right here under the parameter files, I'm gonna get English. There's two English parameter files here. I'm just gonna get the first one that says pen text set there. I'm just gonna click on it, save it to my downloads. Uh, that would be fine, just right to my downloads. I'll get Spanish uh, while I'm here as well. You can get other languages that you like. There's two Spanish. There are two Spanish parameter files as well. I'll get the first one. That should be sufficient for this. Now I'll just stop with those two. You can get more if you like uh, to tag more languages, but okay, let's go take a look at that. Um, uh, did it finish? Let's see, no, it's down here. Okay, it's still working on getting Perl. I clicked on the icon down at the bottom of my screen. Still getting Perl installed on this uh, Windows computer. And what we can do is continue to work on other stuff until that's done. So I'm gonna go back over to my Windows Explorer and go back to downloads. Oh, wait, they're finished. Sorry, just finished. Okay. Completed. Awesome. Finish. Thank you. All right. Let's, so let's actually go back and continue on installing um, it over here. So there was step one. We just did step one. We got that Perl interpreter from that website and we installed it with the regular wizard, you know, click through Windows. And then step two right here is extract the zip file. If it's not uh, extracted and move the the tree tagger directory. We just did that um, a minute ago. We downloaded the tree tagger software and we extracted it, that is unzipped it, and we moved it to the root directory of the C drive. So it's right at the top level of the C drive. To show you what I'm talking about, um, right here, right? So this is the C drive and there it is. Do you remember that we, we first downloaded it to our downloads, we unzipped it with the extract all, and then we clicked in here and then we actually move what was in there to our C drive. So now it's sitting right here in uh, on the C drive, right there. Okay, we've done that step. Now download the parameter files of languages you need. I just did Spanish and English. Decompress them, that is unzip them, and move them to the subdirectory, tree tagger, lib. Okay, <clears throat> so let me go back over to my downloads and I have now two of these, these are zip files. They have a, a GZ at the end. That's another zip file type. Mostly you see ZIP, that is zip as the extension, but this is also a different type. So what we can do, if you right click it, um, and if you have seven zip, you can use it. Let me see what happens if you just double click. If I, if I double click this, yeah, it's not gonna know what to do with the uh, GZ, uh, a GZ file. So right click and look for seven zip. Now, if you don't have that option on your right click menu, if you don't have a seven dash zip, that is another little piece of tool, another little tool, um, piece of software that you need to get. It's a, uh, if you just type seven zip, it um, is a little tool, a little piece of software that um, zips and unzips. 
and it's used on Windows. So you can just go to 7-zip.org and get, for example, this download exe 64-bit, uh, excuse me, and uh, download it and go through the installation process again with that little wizard stepping through those windows. All that is to simply have the, to have the capability of having this little menu 7-zip right there. This is a way, this is a tool to extract zip files on Windows. So click on that and um, the third option down should work here, extract files. And rather than put it right there, see how it's, it's suggesting that it put it in users or all downloads. I actually wanna put it in the lib because that's what the instructions say. Let me jump back over the instructions real quick. Not to get you seasick, but here we are. It says download the parameter files for the languages you need, decompress them, which means unzip them or extract them. Those are all synonymous um, using like WinZip or 7-Zip, we're using 7-Zip and move them to the subdirectory within the tree tagger directory into the lib. See that lib right there, the LIB at the end uh, is where we need to put it. So I think I just wanna, um, you know, it might be easier just to, to say, okay, yeah, just put it right in the downloads and then we can just manually move it later. I think I'll just do that. I'm just gonna let it put it in downloads and I'll manually move it later. I'm gonna do the same thing uh, with, go back to download, do the same thing with the Spanish one. Seven zip, extract files. I'll let it put it right in downloads for the moment. That'll be fine. Okay. And you see it actually creates a directory. So down here I have english.par and spanish.par. These are actually directories. If you actually click in to one of them, I'm now in english.par, there's actually a file. This is an actual file, whereas previously we we're looking at a directory, uh, english.par. Let me put that into um, our tree tagger directory. So uh, here in, in my Windows Explorer, I went into the C drive. I went into, uh, I, didn't, I didn't go into, I just simply clicked the little drop down arrow um, on the left side. So that'll expand it downwards within my left hand menu. And I clicked on that same arrow on the tree tagger there. See how it's pointing to the right. It's like a greater than sign. I click on that arrow to drop down so I can see what's in here. And I actually want to move this English par file, you can see that it's a, it says type par file. I actually wanna move that into my lib directory. It's called it's library, that's what that stands for. Good, so no, it's no longer there. It's not in this um, directory and then go back up. And yep, so if I click in here, nothing there, good. So it's back, it, it's now over in the tree tagger. Let me do the same thing for Spanish. I wanna grab this and just move it into my tree tagger lib. So I'm gonna drag and let it go on the, in the lib. Okay, awesome. Let's go back to the instructions. So that is what we just did, step three, we just did. Um, step four, uh, add the bin, see so add the path, the path environment, the, I think if we do this right here. So no step five, let's just skip down to step five. I think this will do it for us, right? Like this, just grab that little bit of code from set over to the closing percent sign, copy it. Okay, now we need to open up a command prompt, command prompt in Windows. So if you come down to your Windows um, bottom left menu, you can just type CMD command prompt. There it is, let's grab that. And if you just paste in what we just copy, which is set space path equals uh, C colon tree tagger, that's exactly where um, we put it. So it's important that you put it at the C level or if you didn't put it at the C, at the root level of the C drive, you need to modify this path right here. Okay, so good, we just did that. Now we need, let's go to um, tree tagger. So we can CD, let's just, what this means is we're gonna change directories into the C uh, drive. So let me just grab this and go see. Um, they have a lowercase, you can do uppercase as well. Tree tag, that's where I put it. Now I'm in the directory. If I do DIR enter, you can see that here are the things that we have in there. We have three directories, which are identified by DIR, the bin, command, and lib. And we have two files. If I want, I won't actually, we'll keep it simple. Won't say. Okay, number seven. Now you can test the, the tagger by analyzing this file with the command. So let's just test it. 
Now, I'm pretty sure they're missing BIN. I'm just going to put it in there right now because I'm pretty sure they're missing BIN. <clears throat> so you need to type BIN backslash, which is from top right to bottom, uh, excuse me, top left to bottom right slash. Copy that. And if I were to paste that in here, what does it do? Yep. So all it did is it actually tagged this exact file that we're looking at over here. It just grabbed install.txt and tagged it uh, with it for English. So let me just jump to the top of the output in the command line prompt. Um, so how, what is the very top? But yeah, how to install, let me look, I'm looking back here, how to install the Windows version of the, uh, the tree tiger. And you can see that it broke up each word into its own line. The first column is the token, the second column is the part of speech, and the third is the lemma, the family to which the word belongs. Okay, so yeah, it worked correctly. And so that's how you install tree tagger. And so from this point forward, you can go back to the lesson, uh, video lesson for 8.3, where I pick up um, with Python, how you do this in Python. And so the, the, um, the directory pathway that you put is this, um, this one that we're at right now, which is uh, this right here, C colon backslash top left to bottom right tree tagger, capital T, capital T on tree and tagger. That's the directory that you need to specify uh, in Python with the tree tagger wrapper. So you can go back, continue with um, the lesson 8.3 video over there, but that's how you install tree tagger on windows. All right, hopefully this was helpful. As always, I'm super happy to help if you get stuck um, trying to do what I just showed you. Let me know.